we all had to pick songs to walk out to tonight, right? And my friend said I should use that one, which was War by Edwin Stark. He said, because it sounds like your second name. My name's Gareth War, right? And I thought, yeah, that's good. And then hearing it there, War, what is it good for? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's nice to be here, Glasgow. Uh, it's good. It's nice to be back in Scotland. I've been away for a while. I was living in uh, Australia. Uh, yeah, are you Australian? All oh, right. Not really a place for ginger people. Uh, <laughs> there was no sun cream factor high enough for me over there. I used to have to use Tipex. It was that bad, is it? <laughs> but that wasn't the bad part about being ginger in Australia. The bad part was what they call us over there. Uh, do you want to share it with the room? Rangers. They call us rangers. Which, for those of you who don't know, is short for orangutans. <laughs> the shittest monkey there is. <laughs> so Australians were dicks, uh, that's what I found out. <laughs> you know, over there. No, I'm just kidding. He's weren't as bad as the Kiwis. I was, over in, I was over in New Zealand as well, right? I got a job handing out flyers. And every time I handed out a flyer, somebody would come up to me and give me a big cuddle, right? I know, I thought, the people in Auckland are really, really nice. Uh, no, they're not. It was National Hug a Ginger Day. <laughs> which was a genuine day they had over there. Uh, so the whole Southern Hemisphere can fuck off as far as I'm concerned. It's great to be back in Scotland. It's nice. Thank you. Because I've missed it as well. Scotland, I mean, I said the Australians were dicks, but Scottish people, we, we are dicks, right? Uh, I'll back up for you, right? Because uh, we're the only country in the world where you can have an argument with somebody. Right? Let's say you have an argument with your boss. Then you'll go and tell one of your friends about it. You go, I, I just told him to fuck off, eh? And your friend will go, did you? And you go, no, no, never. <laughs> but I was thinking it, you know? <laughs> I've, I've enjoyed being back, I've enjoyed seeing my nan. My nan's the funniest person I know without, like, meaning it, right? Uh, she got a food processor while I was away, and she was really excited about getting to use the food processor. She was like, come down, I'll make you some lunch. So I went down to her house, and she came out with these burgers, right? And said to me, okay Gareth, let me know what you think of these burgers. I've made them with my minge. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry man. <laughs> I thought that you just said, with your, yes, yes, with my minge, it's my new food processor, right? <laughs> now what had actually happened was the food processor model name was called a ninja. <laughs> the chief got a wee bit confused. I mean, I never do this, so I'm eating these burgers terrified I'm going to find a hair on them. Uh, I know, I know, it's disgusting. Give her credit, I ate them. They tasted nothing like her fanny, it was fine. It was, uh... She's here tonight, and that's the first time she's heard that joke. Uh... Sorry, Nan, I'm going to heaven. Uh, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's good. Uh, see, before I did this, right, I used to go to college uh, one day a week. Uh, that's right, I was doing pretty good academically. Uh, and for, for the Scottish people in the room, it was West Lothian College, right? Shite at the front row, so you, could, you couldn't help yourself there, could you? Shite! Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it is though, I mean, if you end up at West Lothian College one day a week, you fucked up somewhere, right? That's not a choice that you make. Uh, because the folk in my class, they were, they were idiots, right? I don't mean to have a go, but they were genuine idiots. And I was mucking about my phone one day in class, and a boy came up to me and said, Yo, let me see your phone. Well, we see what apps you've got, right? So I gave him the phone, he's going through it, he's like, shite, 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 and he saw when he burst out laughing, he went, <laughs> what's pedometer? <laughs> Said, you mean pedometer, mate? A um, <laughs> couple of people over there just getting that. West Lothian College graduates in tonight. <laughs> He said, oh, what does that do? I said, measure how many steps in this primary school is away. You want that? And he believed me. Uh, I'm shaking, look down. And here's my definition of an idiot. You might think I've been harsh upon that guy an idiot, but a real idiot, they'll back up the stupid thing they've just said with something even more stupid. <laughs> so the pedometer guy, when he realised I was making fun of him, that he went, aye, but if there was such a thing as pedometer, that's how it would be spelt. So you don't have to worry about that, mate. <laughs> they are not working on that right now. It's not, it's not in the pipeline. Right. 
And I didn't really like college much because I don't really get on with people my own age. I know I'm quite young, I'm 22, I'm quite young, right? Uh, but I don't really get on with young people, right? Because young people like going to clubs. Like, I, I don't like going to clubs. I think it's stupid, right? I don't enjoy it. I, I never have a good time when I'm there. And I was out with some of my mates, right? Some of my mates live in Fife. I went out with some of them uh, to a nightclub in Dunfermline, right? So straight away I know I'm, I'm off to a bad start, right? Uh, I know I'm not going to have a good time. But here's what was the worst part about it, right? The DJ at one point went, Okay, Dunfermline, Tuesday night, 2012, let's go! And the place went fucking mental, right? <laughs> I was like, what are you getting excited about? <laughs> First of all, we're in Dunfermline, so it can't be that, right? You must have just got excited at the date. Oh, idiots. Uh, so that's good. But that's where we're supposed to meet women, like young people. That's where we're supposed to meet girlfriends and stuff. And I'm, I'm rubbish now. I, I try and meet them after gigs. Uh, and this is the worst, this is my worst story ever, right? It's the most embarrassing story. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but when I'm, when I'm out drinking, I get drunk. I just tend to lie all the time, right? <laughs> Like really unimpressive, stupid lies. Like, I've got web toes, who cares, right? That's <laughs> in level of talk. But this is genuinely the worst lie I ever told when I was drunk. I was chatting up a girl after a gig. I'd say to her, so what do you do? She said, I'm a student. I'd say, what do you study? He said, astrophysics, right? Now we've already established I'm pretty thick. I was at West Lowen College one day a week, right? I know nothing about astrophysics. So to try and impress this girl, I'd say, oh really, I've just bought a telescope. Which is the least impressive thing you can say when you're chatting up a girl, uh, especially when it's a lie. But we went on a few dates, me and this girl, by about the third date she was like, oh, so tell me more about your telescope. <laughs> this stage I forgot, I told her I had one, to be honest, I was like, I don't know, it's a tube, you look at it, it makes shit bigger, it's brilliant. Uh, but I went on my phone, I typed telescope into Google, found the first website that sold them, one of the top special offer, I said, there you go, that's the one I've just bought there. Right. Now she got really impressed with this, so straight away I knew I was in the shit. She passed my phone back and I scrolled down and the telescope was £400, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know if you know how much bursary money you get for going to college one day a week. But I can't really afford the £400 telescope. I need to win tonight to pay for that, right? Because I bought it there and then. Uh, and she was like, so when can I come and see your telescope? I said, I don't know, three to five working days, I suppose. <laughs> Broke up with her, still got a telescope. Life's good. Uh, it's nice to accumulate rubbish. Uh, it's nice. uh, I'll tell you a wee bit about where I'm from as well. I'm from a little village called Roslyn. Uh, some of you may have heard of it. It's where they filmed the Da Vinci Code. Oh, good. Nobody's impressed with that. Uh, it's not the only thing Roslyn's famous for. It's also where Bovril was invented. Bigger reaction for Bovril than Hollywood. Uh, well done, Glasgow. <laughs> uh, but the third thing Roslyn's famous for is where Dolly the Sheep was born. <laughs> Bunch of Abertonians in. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, why were you so excited about that? I don't know. Uh, so there we go. Uh, it's quite out in the country, Rosalind. A lot of comedians will talk about it. It's tough growing up, how it's poor from growing up. But when you live in the country, it's not that bad. So I like to think of something, one little aspect of my life. I thought, okay, that made me poor, right? And I came to the conclusion of salt and shake crisps, ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, if you can't even afford the ready salted stuff, you're poor. Do you know what I mean? It's not that big a novelty. Yay, salt and shake! Get a grip, right? Just buy some proper crisps. Uh, but I know that they're selling it to poor people because do you remember the first time you ever had a packet and you open up and you see a little blue sachet sitting in the bottom and you think you want a fiver? You know? Good times. Crisp fans for the 90s, nice one. Uh, what I used to do with the salt and shake, I used to put either tomato or brown sauce in the packet as well to give it a wee bit of flavour. Anyone? Okay, I'm a weirdo. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Uh, it is a bit depressing doing that. It's a bit like putting sugar on toast and pretending it's cake. You know, it's the same. It's the same kind of ballpark. I actually said that once at Edinburgh Uni. Not one of those students laughed. They all just went, that's fucking genius, by the way. <laughs> in a double dip recession, I could go some sugary toast, you know. I'll tell you, I've got some sad news. Uh, when I was away, uh, my cat moved out. <laughs> Thank you for your sympathy. Uh, it genuinely did. Moved to my neighbour's house. Uh, <laughs> he was 18, it was the right time, do you know what I mean? Uh, but I remember the first day he'd seen the cat on the neighbour's doorstep and I went and gave it a knock. I said, Oh, I think that's my cat on your doorstep. And she said, Oh, yes, we've been feeding it. And I went, oh, Fucking stop. It's my cat, right? Uh, we got to talk about the cat. She was like, oh, What's her name? 
said, her name's Patsy. She says, oh, we call her Autumn. I said, does it fucking matter? Her name's Patsy. I said, but look at the colours on her and the wee face and stuff. Do you not just think she looks like Autumn? I said, listen, you can't steal them, bitch. She said, my name's Belle, actually. I said, well, you look like a cat stealing bitch with your wee face and stuff. <laughs> cat still lives here. I gave up on it. I'm still for it when I'm drunk. <laughs> Please come back. I just told them to fuck off. I never, I never was thinking of it. <laughs> Class, you've been terrific. Uh, I like meetings afterwards. They'll sell CDs or DVDs at the back of the gig. I'll be punting a telescope if anyone's interested. <laughs> Either that or some close-up pictures of my neighbours. Thank you.